Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is the Starting Eleven Show, Republic of Ireland take on France tomorrow evening in the Parc des Prince Stadium, home of PSG. And yes, um, it's going to be an incredibly difficult game and we're down a lot of bodies. Um, this has been recorded before Stephen Kenny's press conference, so I'm unsure about John Egan. Um, so when that goes out, um, we'll know if John Egan can play or not. I'm going to go with the fact that he probably won't play. Uh, I think um, he didn't train the other day, same as Evan Ferguson, so I think he'll likely be out. So this is the team that I would like to see if John Egan isn't fit. Um, I'd go with Bazzuni and goals. I don't think he's done anything wrong for Ireland. People are saying he's coming in on bad form. I don't necessarily think so. I don't think the Southampton defence are that good. And uh, they haven't really helped him out in that regard. And even his manager, Russell Martin, has come out and said that. So people want to keep on claiming that Bazzuni is a terrible goalkeeper. I just I don't buy into it. Um, I feel as though um, he might be going through a little bit of a bad spell, but personally I don't see it. Um, I think he comes in and uh, the last time he played France he was fantastic as well. So I do think that uh, Bazuna is the one to go for in goal here. Keller is not playing, uh, Travers is doing well at Stoke and I just don't see him picking him ahead of Bazuna. So yeah, uh, then I would go with a, a back three of um, our centre backs and I would go with Nathan Collins on the right hand side of the centre backs because he's likely going to go for the, either the 3-5-2 or the 3-4-3 uh, formation. Um, I think he's going to go with Collins as the right centre half and uh, and I, I would put him there too, he hasn't done anything wrong, he's probably been our best player in recent times, got the goal against Greece last time out. Um, yeah, so I think he, he definitely is worthy of his uh, spot there. To the left of him, um, on the left centre-back, I'll probably go with Dar O'Shea. And that's because uh, Dar O'Shea has earned his spot back. Uh, he got his move to the Premier League with Burnley as well. And yeah, he's playing regularly in the Premier League now. And I do think that it's going to uh, only benefit him. And I do think that uh, he's our best option to put in that position. The only other player I could think of that might be a bit of a uh, competition for him is um, Omar Bama Delhi, but I don't think he's played enough football and that's why Stephen Kenny hasn't picked him originally. Um, but I do think Andrew can come in there if called upon. Then the centre half just to give, her a bit, give us a bit of experience and he's played in games like this before. Shane Duffy has played every game for Norwich so far this season and he'll likely be the captain if he starts as well. So I could see um, that being a, a back three and that, I think that back three makes sense. Um, you've got an experienced head with two young lads. Um, who are all three as a trio would be very good, I believe. Um, especially if it's going to be a very defensive performance, which I predict it will be. Um, I do think that you'll need them there. Uh, as a right wing back, I would like to see Festi there. Stephen Kenny sees him more as a attacker, but I would like to see Festi play there because he's playing there with Udinese. Again, this isn't the team that I predict Stephen Kenny would pick. I think this is the best team that could um, take on France, in my opinion. Um, yeah, Festi on the right wing back uh, role, and then uh, I probably just just for the occasion because it's France and it's away. I'm not going to say that Ryan Manning's not experienced enough. It's just that Ender Stevens, in my opinion, um, is, and he's played that position so many times. And it's because we're going to be more defensive, I think Ender Stevens is more defence minded than Ryan Manning. I'm not saying he's more defence minded in general. Um, he's played well for Stoke so far this season, and I think, uh, and Ryan Manning's played well for Southampton as well. But I just think that Stephen Kenny might, if he does decide to deploy uh, Manning, it'll probably be as a left centre back in the back three rather than a wing back position. I think. Um, so that's why I just think that he'll go with Ender Stevens, and I think he'll have McLean on the bench as a, a sub for him if, if if he runs out of legs. That's what I predict will happen, and that's probably the safest uh, bet. Then in midfield, Cullen Malumbi as always, um, just sitting in there providing energy and uh, trying to get the, the rhythm of our play going. Cullen's had a decent start with Burnley uh, from a personal point of view. Uh, captain of the club as well there as well. So um, I do think it makes sense to have Josh Cullen in there. If, if Shane Duffy doesn't play, Josh Cullen may end up seeing himself as captain for Ireland for the very first time. So you never know what could happen there. Malumbi, uh, you know he's going to give you, he's going to give you that energy. He's going to get around the pitch. Um, and he's going to carry us up the pitch as he's, as he's done and breaking up play and, and setting up counter attacks. That's what he's good at. Um, and then in mid, and then I'd probably go with uh, with Jason Knight uh, as my as my kind of high midfielder um, who gets around. He's player of the month for 
Bristol City. I know people are probably screaming saying small bones, just a small bone picked up an injury recently, so I just think he, he might be used sparingly in this occasion. And Knights had such a good start with Bristol City so far this season that I think uh, it would make sense to just have Knight in there. Um, uh, he's done well for Ireland every time he's played, I, I believe. Um, he hasn't had too many bad games. The last game he played against Gibraltar, he played right wing back and he was one of the best players in the pitch, and now it was Gibraltar. But uh, he always just seems to put in a performance for Ireland. Uh, he's honest, he's hard working, and he's got a, a goal in him. So I'd love for nothing more for someone like him to pop up and get a goal. So that would be great. And then um, up front, now Evan Ferguson. I think Adam Eda, this could be his time to shine. Done well against Portugal when, when uh, that time when called upon. And I think that, yeah, this could be uh, an occasion to get him into the starting 11 and uh, he scored against Gibraltar as I said so he's broken his uh, his duck uh, with uh, with Ireland in terms of getting hit off uh, to off to, off to a goal scoring start with Ireland sorry I don't know what happened to the brain there but um, <clears throat> yeah Adam Eda there and then beside Adam Eda Chiodosiuk Benny I think uh, hasn't had a lot of minutes at Luton but this could be um, a good game to get him in had an excellent game against France last time against Mbappe um, but I do feel as though if he is playing, he would probably be. Um, if it is going to be like a three-four-three, three, I would imagine um, it would be festive. Chiodosi, if uh, if that's the case, he would have to be quite defensive. Chiodosi helping him uh, out, uh, Festi like um, he helped out James Coleman that time uh, against Mbappe. But it would be interesting to see. Um, Mbappe's main trade obviously is his uh, speed, so Festi would have uh, Festi be. Very athletic as well as Chio as well, and we know that Chio Dozi, uh, he he gave um, the French defenders uh, a lot to think about in the last game with his pace and stretched them at times. So yeah, I think um, that would be my starting eleven. Let us know your thoughts on it in the comments. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and leave your thoughts in the comments as always. And uh, your maybe your predictions. I'm going to be doing a preview show later on, so stay tuned for that. Check it out on our channel as well. All right, I'll speak to you all later. Thanks for watching and take care.